Hi, my name is Jeff Spaulding, proud member of the Ace Squad, and I'm back again with another video in my modded Minecraft tutorial series. Today I'm going over power generation and storage. Now, I'm going to keep things basic basic, just like all my videos. Look, the videos are made for those who haven't really done modded Minecraft before and are like sitting on my stream being like, OMG Jeff, like what, what are you doing? Help me out. So, if that if that's you, this video's for you. Now, a couple of things to go over, kind of before I actually start looking at the blocks. Um, why should you even generate power? Um, essentially, power can be used um, in different types of like furnaces instead of coal. So, like you know, normally you like throw a little piece of coal into a furnace or like maybe some wood if you're like real real early in the game, um, and then you smelt like one of your iron ores into an ingot. Well, you can do the same sort of thing, but use energy instead. So you can save yourself a little bit of coal. Um, there's different ore doubling methods that you can do too. So one iron ore could make you two iron ingots with different machines that all use power. There's some really cool ore generation techniques that you can use. I've showcased quite a few on my stream, and I'm probably going to be making you do videos on most of these points that we're talking about in this slide. Let's see, en energy or power. It can basically be used for machines to create crafting components to make other more powerful machines. So that's always fun. Um, let's see, it can be used on armors and weapons. So instead of durability, you might charge the weapon or armor. So it has like an energy meter. And then whenever you take damage on your armor, it just subtracts from your energy instead of durability. So that's kind of nice. Also, certain weapons can have like special attacks if you use energy with it. See, teleportation is a real big one in all the packs, and they require, like, they require quite a bit of power to use, so that's always fun to use. And then uh, there's other, lots of types of machines, kind of like uh, auto-crafting machines, there's automatic farming machines, I mean, heck, modern Minecraft, it's all about just trying to automate it. That's always tons of fun, finding different methods. Okay, what do we really need to know about power? Um, power is expressed in several different ways. Um, RF is kind of our main workhorse. Um, most of the mods utilize RF or some sort of variant. Um, but there's a couple mods that take EU. EU is a little bit special because one EU is going to equal four RF. There's, that's a little bit different. But just about all the other mods, they might have their own thing that they use, like maybe IF or JF or UF or something like that, um, they're all equivalent. One like JF would equal one RF. Like all those different ones are kind of equal. So for the sake of this video, we're just gonna use RF and that's it. And then time is also measured in ticks here too. So 20 ticks equals one second. You can, anytime you see something like this where I'm hovering over the energy, usage of this powered furnace here so this is actually smelting some iron for me right now um it takes 100 rf per tick so it takes 100 energies per unit of time or 1 20th of a second so i mean if we calculate that out and get all real fancy it's actually taking 2000 of these energy units per second so that's quite quite a large number so let's just stick with the 100 right here um rf per tick that's all fine and dandy. Um, so from here, with this preliminary information, I'm gonna head to uh, the Minecraft test realm that I got going. Alrighty, we're on to the blocks now. So I'm gonna be doing this part in creative. I'm not normally used to it, doing it this way, but I didn't enable cheat mode and I already created all this stuff for the tutorial. So we'll just press on. So just about all of the different mod packs that have or utilize RF um, as their main source of energy, um, they just about all have a coal generator. So here's just a few of the different ones to start out with, which we can just toss some coal in some of these bad boys. So if we throw on here, I mean, this one's called Crystal Flux or CF. It's the same as RF. And that's generating energy based on the coal here. Look at that, 600 or 1,600 ticks worth of burn time. We even know about how long that, that bad boy's going to burn. This RF tools. That has some too. Just looks slightly different, but once again, it's all RF. 
the survival generator this is just a really really early game super easy to build sort of generator i guess it's extremely efficient but it doesn't really create power all that fast uh, this one's one of those industrial craft the ones that take eu I mean, you can kind of see that that's cranking out some eu there and then here's one from thermal expansion it's called a steam dynamo this one's a little uh, special on that you actually need water as well to power this both water and coal kind of making steam there see that's going up as well Alrighty, these are our coal generating options at least for starts here i'm sure there's other mods that have them too but yes coal very useful other generation methods include solar panels which get their energy from the sun um there's culinary generators which take any sorts of food item just like bread. Uh, there are this geothermal one actually takes lava. Let's see. We'll just say always active right here. This bad boy using some lava and generating EU really, really fast from there. And then there's a couple other nifty ones too, kind of like the endergenic generator, which almost has its own little mini game where you throw like an ender pearl and then they'll bounce the ender pearl between a bunch of these, just creating tons of energy. Um, and then you have really nice giant structures kind of like windmills that could as well now onto a couple of the different storage like batteries you could call them or energy cells kind of like power storage mods i mean here's like a thermal expansion one that you can actually see it's just storing energy and just kind of act in as a buffer until you want to actually use it on say a machine or something else um here's kind of a nifty one as well these ones are called power cells i like these a lot because they have to set this one to accept energy. It's almost like, yeah, you can input energy from this side, or you can choose it to just output energy. And one cool thing is these, they have power cell cards, and it says link ID 1. As long as they always say link ID 1, they actually share the same sort of energy here. We could almost consider this one to be accepting energy input from all of our machines. And then maybe this one is over by your machines to actually use it, and then we'll set it to output. That's kind of fun too, but a little way to teleport energy from one thing to another. Alrighty, so this is going to be a little bit tougher to explain, but essentially there's different wires in these mods, um, such as like flux ducts or energy conduits down here, and each of them can actually transfer power at different rates. Now what I've set up over here is a couple uh, creative only items where this is, you can almost think of it as just a crap ton of coal generators just going infinitely here so that it's always generating 50,000 RF. You know, 50,000 RF per tick here. However, we have our leadstone flux duct that's connected to it, and these can only transfer 1,000 RF per tick. So if we just connect this, to our little battery that we have set up right here, or our energy cell, which is our power storage. You can see it's going up at a pretty decent rate. We almost have 100,000 RF uh, stored inside this little battery here. Um, now, if we look at the next set here, the hardened flux ducts, these transfer at a rate of 4,000 RF per tick. So if we slap this bad boy down, you can tell that this is going significantly faster than this here. Yeah, see, it's basically already past it at this point. And then, yeah, this enhanced, like, and en what is it? Ender Energy Conduit. Who saved that five times fast? Um, This one goes about 20,000. So really, when you slap one of these bad boys down, you can see that you are just raking in the power into this cell. So sometimes you just need to have... Um, enough energy going through your wires or at least the capacity for your wires to actually keep up with what you want to do on your pack um, some of these different batteries you can configure like inputs and outputs so say anytime you see like little blue around here that means it'll accept energy in there and on this mod you can actually choose to have energy outputted to this side so it's not like it's sucking up whatever energy is from here. It's going to give this the power. Oh, yeah, and here's just like a little power furnace that we have on here. So that's just kind of cool. You know, good use. Good use to our energy here. For sure. So in this last segment here, I just kind of wanted to show you what necessarily happens if you don't really have enough energy to 
provide the means um, to fulfill your machine's energy requirements here. So I'm just going to throw some coal into the survival generator. And as we can see here, this one is just moving super hella slow. Some other machines will completely lose their progress if they don't have enough energy. So it's always good to try to make sure that you're producing enough energy to take care of your power needs. And in some instances, you might not be able to create more power. You might just not have the resources to make enough of these furnaces to keep or these survival generators to keep going, or you're unable to make like solar panels or other fun things to help augment it. So in those sort of situations, you could just hook up this survival generator to like a battery and just over time, let it get a little bit of energy stored up before we hook this up for our actual powered furnace. So. I mean, if we look at this, this is going significantly faster because we built up that time. And yeah, I mean, you can just kind of set some coal into one of these, go down on a mining trip or something like that. Then once you get back, you should have enough energy built up to really keep your production going for quite a while. Um, and lastly, I mean, coal generator right here, this um, one from Actually Additions, it is significantly faster in how the other one works. So you should always be looking for upgrades. Thank you so much for watching, everybody. Um, if by chance you enjoy watching streams, make sure to check me out over at twitch.tv slash jeffsbalding. I've recently set up a server for all of my followers. So if that's something that may interest you in joining, definitely let me know and I can get you onto that server's whitelist. Um, I hope that you found all the information today extremely helpful. Um, so have a wonderful day. And as always, I appreciate you.